thank you, Edgar. And Merry Christmas, Edgar. Be right with you, lady. Merry Christmas to you, Mrs. Freeman. Edgar. <laughs> oh, hi, honey. Excuse me, I gotta get back. But, Edgar, aren't you coming home soon? Oh, I'm sorry, Louisa. We're staying open till midnight tonight. What's the matter? Nothing. I'm just a little lonely, that's all. What? In that big, beautiful new house, lonely? I'm the only one who's ever in it. Edgar, it's Christmas. But yes, and Christmas is business, big business. You're working entirely too hard, darling. Look, honey, by this time next year, we'll be so rich we can take a real vacation. Italy? Italy. Merry Christmas. Besides, what's the matter with work? A little hard work never killed anybody. Merry Christmas. Hi there. And a hop, hop, happy new year. <laughs> Edgar's hard work included hitting out with every modern sales device known to man. And Crawleyville was his captive audience. We were millionaires overnight. Darling, I checked the hotels in Rome and I had the reservations for our vacation. I'm sorry, honey, that'll have to wait till next year. Next year? Yes, next year. In the meantime, get yourself a couple of art books and a box of spaghetti. You think I got a blonde tootsie on the side or something? Oh, I just wish you had! At least then I'd know you were relaxing! <laughs> oh. oh, he don't even have any feelings anymore! When we got married, you promised for better or for worse that you'd never make good, that you'd always be nothing. Well, look at us. We're so rich, we never even see each other anymore. Edgar, you're frittering away your life in detail. Simplify, simplify. Simplify, schmimplify. A little hard work never killed anybody. Edgar was like someone bewitched, like the sorcerer's apprentice. He couldn't stop. Get me 300,000 feet of rust-proof chicken wire. Listen, what is with our order on the Mother Goose Atomic Disintegrator Kit? No, make them think they can't live without doorknobs that light up in the dark. Think big. Our musical mop, which plays Let Me Call You Sweetheart, I'm In Love With You, is a marketing failure. Get something happier like Stars and Stripes Forever to guarantee musical mop up. <laughs> so it is just a simple equation. Service quotient X plus condensation atmospheric quotient Y plus smile and affability quotient X show in the last three months a sales gain line that has hop, hop, hop right off the lousy board. In short, boys, we are becoming, by the figures, the big, bigger, biggest. <laughs> Uh, in re yours of the 23rd, I am impatiently awaiting your order, uh, hastily yours, Edgar Hopper. Uh, there can be no delays. If you insist on delaying, you can always be replaced. Uh, hastily yours, Edgar Hopper. Since your delivery service has not been quick enough, we are terminating our agreement with you. Uh, hastily yours, uh, Edgar Hopper. I'd like all those folders rushed out to the entire mailing list by at least Monday. Hastily yours, Edgar Hopper. Order canceled. We ask you for good. You gave us promises. Hastily yours, uh, Edgar Hopper. All the displays in all of the branch stores must be changed daily and rotated. Hastily yours, Edgar Hopper. That is my final word on the subject. Hastily yours, Edgar Hopper. I've got to have 10,000 bed springs at once. Hastily yours, Edgar Haper. Heber. Uh, hop, uh, uh, hastily yours, the hophead. Uh, hastily yours, uh, the boss. I like that all in triplicate right away. Mr. Hopper, no one can work like this. The pace is too fast. We're not machines. We're human beings. Miss Bickford, there is no place here for anyone who cannot keep up with the pace of modern living. You are fired. <laughs> Close the deal. My wife, hurry. 
Leonard Crowley just handed over the keys. Louisa. Louisa, Louisa! Hello? Louisa? It happened. What's happened? The next time you walk down Main Street, there won't be any Crowleys there. It's gonna say, Hoppers! Louisa, I did it! I wiped them out. He's through in this town. Oh, I guess that's what you wanted, isn't it? Oh, I got what I wanted. And I got money, wealth, success, position. And next year, this town is gonna be called Hopperville. And how do I get all these things? Through work. Just good, hard work. <laughs> Which all goes to prove that a little hard work never killed anybody. And outside of the bequest of one roll of chicken wire to Leonard Crawley, I bequeath my entire fortune and worldly goods to my wife, Louisa May Foster Hopper. Edgar had left me approximately $2 million in cash and securities. And as Thoreau probably never said, that's a lot of lettuce. <laughs>